guys redline back with another well this is my first x defined video um i did a couple of streams uh you can catch me over on lcm bgs redline link will be in the description over on twitch i stream over there um uh, sometimes so i'm trying to get that going if you support the channel come over there hang out with me sometimes if you catch me on there follow me i'd appreciate it so i'll try to stream on both platforms and we'll see what we can do okay so i want to get my <clears throat> I want to give my opinion on X Defiant. I've been playing it all weekend. I have all the factions unlocked. I have every character unlocked except for the cleaners. I need to un unlock Cursey and Green. It'll be the last things I gotta do as far as that go. I have most of the weapons unlocked. Um, uh, we have all of the grenades unlocked. You know, we do these dailies, things like that. So I got a lot of time in the game. And um, I just want to give my opinion on that. I have two guns, obviously. That's uh, two guns right now that are level 50, if you want to know. So it'll be the MA-70. And I have, which one? Uh, uh, the RPK. Those both are, uh, right now, they're good to go. Level 50 weapons. I'm working on it. It's double XP weekend. I think Tuesday is when they gonna be doing and they double XP. So get your XP in while you can. And um, without further ado, we'll get into the video. So X Defiant to me. I don't know what happened to the rest of that footage, but I'm gonna show you guys a quick match as I give you my opinion of X Defiant. So my opinion on X Defiant is do I think it's gonna take over COD? I would say no. I think this game has a lot, a lot of potential. I can see this game being really popular for maybe about two months before it starts to dwindle out. And some people may disagree with this. And this game is, is, is fun to me. It just, the problem is it has a lot of issues, right? Like if they can manage to iron out those issues very quickly, the player base to me will stay somewhat. But some of them things that they have going on is is not good in my opinion so for instance like a major issue is the dc man i'm telling you when i'm playing this game especially when i was leveling up, leveling up my ma70 it took me three headshots to kill someone and i would get the chime the little ping sound ping 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 and nothing the guy didn't take no damage nothing i don't know what's going on with their desync and their servers but it's bad man and for you to get an idea of what it's like for my guys that play division right um when you play division division two when you ps5 have finally came out and everyone had the ps5 i and i was a ps4 player when you had the PS4 facing a PS5 player, that's what it felt like. That exact same thing. When people coming around the corner, and when you see them come around the corner, you're already dead. So things you're living things in the past, and they living in the future. That's what it feels like. I feel like I have to shoot in front, way in front of people where they're going to go versus where they are. Whether we're down the hallway, whether they're moving, whether they're not moving. Every, I, I feel like I got to be in the future for the most part. Like... Uh, um, a lot of the desync to, is the major issue for me here. Um, some things are broken. Sniper rifles, man. Tac 50, I could see one shot, but it needs to be like a slow, you know, a slow fire rate, a very slow fire rate. Using these sniper rifles to me is insane. Every sniper rifle, it seems like, no matter where they shoot you in the arm, pinky, leg. It's insta death, and these um, these rifles, these marksman rifles. When they shoot you with the marksman rifle and two shot you alongside the desync, is you're dead you, before you even look at the person. So by the time you hear the damage coming or feel the damage coming, you're already dead. They've already gotten off two shot. Like rate of fire is king in, in this and. Like, rate of fire is, is king. There's nothing you can do in regards to um, 
shooting a slower weapon. Like, I like LMGs. If I'm shooting an LMG, I feel like my LMG should damage you, like, a lot from a distance. Somebody shooting from a distance of 50 meters or 30 meters, let's go 30 meters, 35 meters. They'll shoot the, the P90 at me, and I'm shooting the LMG at them, the RPK, for instance, with a fire rate mod. I'm shooting them, and the damage they do to me, it feels like they one shot me. Like so, I don't, I don't get it. I think it's the de a decent thing. Like I'm dead before I know it. I'll be shooting. I'll get around a corner, and as I'm going around the corner, I, I die on a completely opposite opposite side of the wall. So it appears that the bullets are going through the wall to me. Like it's 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 too much, man. Like the rifles need to be three shot at least the sniper rifles if it's not attack 50 need to be two shot one shot to the head two shot to the body three shot to the leg that's how i feel three shot to the leg two shot to the torso one shot head shot marksman rifles need to be three shot and then like four shot to the leg you know something like that to that effect right like two shot to the dome I'll even take a one shot to the dome because a lot of these players are not hitting me in the dome. They hit me in the arm and then I'm instantly dead because they two shot my arm. Like, that, it, it's, I don't know. I'm not a COD, I haven't played COD for real in any type of competitive or try hard fashion in over 10 years. So, for me, the first person shooters were a thing of the past. I got into Overwatch. I'm starting to do well as I'm practicing. In this game, now I'm doing. Well, when I first started, it feels rough as a uh, starting player. Like, if you don't start when everyone else starts, it feels rough. Like, you just feel like you're dying all the time, right? And I understand that, right? Like, you know, you don't need skill-based matchmaker or anything like that. I know that's a big issue with everybody. I don't, I don't, I don't really care here or there. To me, this is going to be a game that maybe holds me over before I get to, like, Elden Ring or Division Three, Heartlands Cancel, things like that. So... You know, this is a game that I'll be doing, like, in my in-between time that I won't be grinding my heart out for, you know? Another thing with this game is the monetization. So, for the monetization, $40, $35, $40 for an outfit is insane. I feel like they looked at what Call of Duty did with the Kong glove and was like, yeah, we could raise the price on all of this stuff. This is something we can do. Um, I don't believe that, you know? I don't believe any player should be paying that much for like a single outfit and like two, two, two them skin, two, two gun skins or something like that. Forty bucks is a big stream. I know this game is free to play, but I do feel like some of the monetization is 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 wild, man. Like, and don't feel like you're getting much out of the battle pass for free anyway, right? Like, I'll, I. I just feel like it's too steep, man. I get the Founders Pack. I get, you know, you, you want to buy into the game. And you pay that, right? But they give you, like, 5,000 uh, gold, which is enough for, like, one outfit, one extra outfit. They give you an outfit, give enough money for, like, one more outfit, maybe two. And then that's it. Like, you know, a couple gun, uh, gun skin or something like that. And, and, and that's it. It doesn't don't feel worth it to me in any capacity at all like the monetization of this game seems to be very high very extreme excuse me that's my daughter in the background but it seems to be very high very extreme on a, on the high end of things and I and I don't think nobody no casual player uh dad or anything like that is going to kick out this type of money for this game uh on a continuous note like to keep this game running so any casual players, I don't, it'll be like tryhards tri that'll stay and the the whales that'll stay. I don't think the casual player will will just, will stay here. I don't, I don't I don't see it. I see it, players leaving the game and then coming back to the game as they want to. Skins not being sold whatsoever because they're just too expensive. Um, now they're charging like five dollars for a skin i would i would i could go with that you know like some of them uh, some things are cheap but it's just not that cheap man like you you paying at least ten dollars for a skin um 
I know I'm rambling a lot, but these are some of the things that's wrong with the game. You let me know what you don't like about X, X Define. Let me know what you do like about X Define. Because me and myself, let me know in the comment section. Me and myself, I like the gameplay. I like how some of the guns feel. Um, some of the, you know, some some of the guns are fun. Some of the game modes are fun. It feels like uh, Overwatch, COD mixed in with, with a couple of other aspects, other games like Apex or whatever. But it seems like its own unique thing, man. I, w I don't want uh, kill streaks or uh, things from COD to come into this game. I won't want any of that stuff. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna keep. I'm, if you let me, I'll keep rambling on forever. I promise you. If you need help with anything game related, head over to the LCN Discord. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. I am gonna put this uh, this video out when I was doing uh, pretty good, man. I, I felt like a one of my better games. I'm not the best at this game, not by a long shot. But if you appreciate this, leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Remember, the loyalty comes natural. And I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace.